and we're live. Welcome back. Uh, I'm Pastor Doug. Rowan is not here this evening. He is over at a friend's um, I, I, summer pool party. I, I don't know. They're just, yeah, that's where he is. He's not here right now. I'm going to go pick him up as soon as we're done here, actually. Um, so tonight, if he were here, he would ask you to leave a like and subscribe uh, to the Fellowship of Joy YouTube channel and check out our website, fellowshipofjoy.ca, um, because that's what he does. Also, you can even comment on Facebook here and just let us know who's who's out there, who's paying attention. Anyways, um, tonight we are reading from 2 Kings chapter 13, beginning in verse 1. So yeah, let's get started. In the 23rd year of Joash, son of Ahaziah, king of Judah, Jehoaz, son of Jehu, became king of Israel in Samaria. And he reigned 17 years. He did evil in the eyes of the Lord by following the sins of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, which he had caused Israel to commit, and he did not turn away from them. So the Lord's anger burned against Israel, and for a long time he kept them under the power of Haziel, king of Aram, and Ben-Hadad, his son. Then Jehoshiah sought the Lord's favor, and the Lord listened to him, and saw how severely the king of Aram was oppressing Israel. The Lord provided a deliverer for Israel, and they escaped from the power of Aram. So the Israelites lived in their own homes as they had before, but they did not turn away from the sins of the house of Jeroboam, which he had caused Israel to commit. They continued in them. Also, the Asher pole remained standing in Samaria. Nothing had been left. Nothing had been left of the army of Jehoahaz except fifty horsemen, ten chariots, and ten thousand foot soldiers. For the king of Aram had destroyed the rest, and made them like the dust on the threshing, or at like the dust at threshing time. As for the other events of the reign, uh, as for the other events of the reign of Jehoahaz. All he did, and his achievements, are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Israel? Jehoaz rested with his ancestors and was buried in Samaria. And Jehoash, his son, succeeded him as king. All right. Um, the more I read First and Second Kings. The more it reminds me of Judges. Um, that's interesting. It's, it's very interesting. I don't know. Um, we did Judges oh a couple of years ago. It was one of the first books we did for Moment of Joy, and you can you can check those out if you go back on our YouTube page. But yeah, there is, there's a lot of similarities. Um, but I guess that's the way it is with human nature. We call out to God when we're in trouble. Instead of praising God in all situations. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for everything you give us. And we praise you at all times. And we, we pray for forgiveness. And we pray that we seek you in all things and in all ways. And we pray that you guide us. And that we... We, we live according to your will. We praise you, Lord Jesus. This we pray in Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Okay, so tomorrow is Sunday, which um, means at 10 a.m. we will be meeting at 67 Queen Street in the Old School in St. Williams for uh, Fellowship of Joy. We'd love to have you join us. Also, there is a... No, it's not up there yet. It's on Facebook, but on my personal page, not on the, not on this page. It'll be on this page later. Anyways, there's a brand new uh, Real Men Love Jesus video that will be on our YouTube page 
very soon, and it is on my personal Facebook page already. Uh, so you can check that out. And tomorrow's Father's Day. We'd, we'd love to have you come out and join us to celebrate Father's for uh, Father's Day at church tomorrow. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow morning at 10. You can uh, stream the service live here on, on Facebook as well. And we'll see, or you can watch it after the fact on, on YouTube or listen to it on Spotify or whatever you want. Anyways, and we will see you tomorrow evening at 8.30 for another moment of joy. Goodbye. I gotta go.